I was 16 weeks pregnant and I went to a high risk OB screening uh, because my mom had three premature births. The doctor had noticed that my heart rate was 140 setting still and he said that I had marfanoid features. Tiffany Granderson considers herself lucky. Her OB in Kentucky noticed she had features associated with Marfan syndrome and suggested she be tested. Those tests were positive. Marfan syndrome affects males and females equally. It affects all races and nationalities. It affects about one in 5,000 individuals or so. So that's almost the same prevalence as some other better known disorders like muscular dystrophy or sickle cell anemia or cystic fibrosis. Marfan syndrome is a genetic disorder with distinct features, including unusual height, long, lanky limbs and fingers, flexible joints, and a sunken chest. This disorder weakens many organ systems, including the skeleton, lungs, eyes, and heart. The cardiovascular system, or the heart involvement, is an enlarged aorta. And, and that's the uh, major blood vessel that carries the blood away from the body. If not uh, appropriately recognized and then treated with surgery to replace the aneurysm or enlarged aorta, Marfan syndrome can be fatal. Tests showed Tiffany was at high risk of an aortic tear or rupture. So she chose to see Dr. Alan Braverman at one of the country's largest Marfan clinics here at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. When I came here, he immediately said I needed to deliver the baby here. Um, and I knew that it was a life-threatening situation. She was at very high risk for uh, aortic dissection, but the risk of surgery then was also high for um, difficulty in survival of her fetus. So she saw a cardiac surgeon, she saw the maternal fetal medicine, she actually moved to St. Louis to stay on our campus, uh, so if any issue came up she could get emergency attention. It's a great program, uh, all the components necessary to make the diagnosis are here, and most importantly, uh, the people that treat it are here. At 36 weeks into her pregnancy, Tiffany had an elective C-section and delivered a healthy baby boy at Barnes Jewish Hospital. Two weeks later, she underwent heart surgery. I was afraid when I went into surgery, I was scared and I actually cried on the operating table and, and told the nurse that they had best take good care of me because I needed to be here for that little boy. This is a type of surgery that should be done by a surgeon highly skilled in aortic surgery in individuals with Marfan syndrome. It's not as common as bypass surgery, so an expert team of surgeons and anesthesiologists, etc., are necessary to uh, make sure there's great success. Before this preventative surgery, the average lifespan for a person with Marfan syndrome was between 30 and 40. Now with medicine and surgery, these patients go on to live normal lives well into their 70s and 80s. That's why doctors at Barnes Jewish Hospital want to increase the awareness of this disorder. They want healthcare professionals to know what to look for, and they want patients to know there is a place they can go to receive top quality care. So patients want to come and they want to feel confident that their caretakers know what they're doing, know how to manage them, and will take care of them. So that's, I think that's our biggest strength. I can't say enough good things about Dr. Braverman. He and his staff definitely saved my life, no doubt about it.